Hi, welcome to another video short in the Calculus for All series. Uh, today's topic is again instantaneous rate of change, but we're going to look at our first example. So in this uh, question, we have a function f of t, which is equal to the square root of t plus 6. And what we're interested in is determining the instantaneous velocity, specifically when t equals 3. So if you can recall from our previous video, we have a, a technique for determining the instantaneous rate of change. And that was the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now in this uh, question here, our variable that f is written in terms of is not x, it is t. So I have two ways of solving this, this question. One way would be to use the limit as h goes to 0, or f of t plus h minus f of t over h, and evaluating this, this limit. This would be giving me an expression in terms of t, and all I would have to do is substitute 3 in for t, and I would have the answer to this question. The other technique is to substitute in 3 for x right away. Even though it's in terms of t, we can recognize we're using this uh, generic ex expression. So if I substitute in uh, 3 for x, if we do that, that would give me this limit for us to evaluate. Now, the advantage of using your number uh, rather than the variable is it will make your algebra just a bit easier. But either technique is valid. So let's substitute 3 plus h into my function, and that will give us the limit as h goes to 0, the square root of 3 plus h plus 6 minus 3 plus 6 all over h. Let's do some house cleaning. That's nice because this is a, the other side. That's the advantage of using numbers rather than variables. And the square root of 3 plus 6 is like the square root of 9, which is equal to 3. You look at this uh, limit and you recognize as ah, a square root and it's subtracting a, a number. The technique for solving this type of limit is to multiply by the conjugate. So let's do that. And because we multiply by the conjugate, we also have a nice little algebraic uh, shortcut because that's equal to the square of the first term minus the square of the second term all over the, the product of the, the two denominators. So I'll write that there. Again, more house cleaning. It's nice that the numbers cancel out. I've got h in my numerator, h in my denominator. It's an indeterminate form. I want to get rid of those two h's, and they're just standing there saying, hey, guys, you can take me away, and let's do that. Let's now substitute uh, 0 in for h. Beautiful. And now that's a simple little house cleaning, and I get 1 over 6. Now, this is a, a wood problem, and the wood problem had a function in terms of meters, a time in terms of seconds, so don't forget to place your answer with the units. So the answer to this question is 1.6 meters per second. Now let's just have a fast little look at the graph of this, of this uh, question. So let me bring that up if I can. So there's our graph of our function of uh, square root of t plus 6. And this question says, hey, specifically when t equals 3, um, can you determine the slope of the tangent line? So let me pop in a point at 3, and all we want is the slope of this line. And the slope of this line, as determined by the previous slide, of course, is 1, 6. Hopefully this was helpful, and thank you for watching.